Galloway's Tech Talk at three, getting to grips with Navi Lens. Welcome everybody to, uh, to Galloway's Tech Talk at three. It's uh, myself, Andrew Coleman, and we've also got... Jenny White. <laughs> I'll see if you were late there, Jenny. Just see if you were ready for it. Um, so yeah, welcome everybody. Um, it's great to have everybody here. A um, couple of weeks ago, um, we, we had a look uh, we had Javier from uh, the organisation called NaviLens. Um, and NaviLens is all about these brand new uh, barcodes um, that, uh, well, I say barcodes, these colourful codes that you can use um, in, in everyday life. They're also being used in, in Spain at the moment on, on the transportation system, on trains and buses. And uh, these codes are easily scanned with an accessible app on your smartphone. And Javier came to talk to us a few weeks ago. He uh, was telling us about the work that they'd been doing uh, with NaviLens um, and also the work they'd done with the RNIB and uh, Kellogg's Cocoa Pops, if everybody remembers. So they've done a project with the RNIB where there's this very easy to um, scan colourful code, which I'm just holding up to the camera at the moment let me turn it the right way around the way. that's the right way that's the right way yeah so your camera's shaking a bit um and um this code can be easily scanned with the navi lens app and then what happens is when you scan this code it will present you uh with uh, relevant information so for example in in spain um javier was telling us that you could go to the bus stop you could get your phone out hold it near your chest with the camera pointing away from you and you'd move around the bus stop until you picked up the code, the NaviLens code, and then you would get the latest kind of travel information and how long the next bus would be. So it can point you to dynamic information that's available. And the great thing is, is that these codes um, are very unique in, in the fact that they're not, they're not like QR codes that we've been using for about 15, 20 years now. These codes are so sensitive in the way that they, they're picked up very easily by your by your smartphone. Um, and, and I'll show you, and I will be showing you just how easy uh, the smartphone can pick these codes up. They're, they are absolutely fantastic. Okay. So, so the code that, that are on the phone, Andrew, sorry. Can you do a description of that code, Jenny? Do you want to describe yes. what it looks like? Yeah. So it's, it's on a white piece of paper and you've got a black square in the middle. Yeah. And then we have pink, blue and yellow rectangular and square shapes to make up this code um, throughout the black square. Yeah. Um, it's much easier for you if you have some useful vision to identify in comparison to a QR code yeah. as well. Um, that's right and they're all different so what i've done and i will yeah. i will show you this in the app is i requested these these codes and they send you them by email so i've got some different ones and i've printed them and i've cut them out and they come the ones upside in, down is that one upside down they come uh, in all in all sizes and shapes and sizes so these ones that i've got in front of me now um we've got ooh, we've got quite a lot on this page um about 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. There would have been 70 on here because I've cut the top off a bit. And, and uh, you do need some sighted assistance, obviously, with these codes. You want to get them cut up um, and then you can, you can use a sellotape or, uh, you, know, a you know, a double, double tape, um, double sticky tape to tape them to different things that you might want to use them for. And you so, can laminate them, they still work. Yes. That's a good point. Yes, um, you could laminate them. You could put them on a key ring. You could, I mean, we'll have a discussion about that in a bit. But all the different ways that you could use these these codes is just kind of it's whatever you can think of, really. So I've come up with a few ideas today, which I'll be demonstrating as well. Um, and as I say, when you say you can get them in different sizes, if I hold one of the bigger codes up, you can see that I've cut one of these out. And it's a, it's 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 the size. The one that I've cut out here is like the size of I would say probably the size of four 
of the of the smaller codes, but it's just one one code, so it's a lot yeah. it's a lot bigger. So, you so know? your small codes probably about one inch square, and your and your larger yeah. code is about four inch square. That's it. That's it. So that's what we've done. So as I say, these these codes through Navi Lens um, can be used commercially, and they are being sold to commercial companies to use. And we hope that more manufacturers, more food manufacturers, supermarkets. We hope that they, you know, that they put them on their their packaging because they're so, as I'll show you in a bit, they're so easy to scan. So um, what I've done here before we, we scan any codes and before I show you how to do it, um, we, we've, we've, we've done some, we've got some ready or, already. So here I've got like um, a tin, it is, it is actually a tin of beans. And um, I've got uh, Louise, um, who is my uh, my wife, sport worker. I've got Louise to stick one of these codes to the tin. Uh, so when I pick this this up, I can scan the code with the app. So that'll be nice. So you can just you can just stick them on anything. I've also got um, like a microwave meal in front of me as well, and I've stuck the code on there uh, as well. Let me turn it the right way around, <laughs> and I've and I've got it there as well. So there's there's a code on there. And, it, and 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 Jenny, it's very much similar to uh, like what 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 it, it should look like in the shops if it's adapt if it's adopted by other manufacturers. I yes. say with, with Kellogg's, the code will just be on the packaging. Yeah, essentially. So that's that's kind of how it would work. Okay. Um. So uh, with that in mind, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to share. I'm just bear with me. Bear with me one second. This is the the technical bit. I'm Hello. just going to turn my phone around and I'm going to share my screen on my phone. So bear with me one second, guys. Hopefully I've shared my screen. There we go. Yeah. We're on there. Okay. So I'm going to go and I'm just going to make sure. Oh, I didn't think of this. <laughs> I'm just going to move all my codes out of the way a second because I don't want it to read them yet. So that's fine. So I'm just going to open the Navi Lens app. Okay. Go back now, a page, Andrew. You want me, where do you want me to go? Go back a page to your home screen. Yeah. Yeah. Find, go swipe, swipe across so we can find the app. Oh, that's a good. That's a good. That's a good point. That actually, I don't know where I've put it on my home screen. Oh, and I actually, I know where I can find it. There you go. So, um, it's the app. It's uh, it's like a picture. If I if I try and oh, let me just come. Yeah, an eye with legs. I don't know whether you can see me zoomed in there yeah. or not. Yeah. So it, so it is can, exactly as he says. Yeah, which the, the outline is, is black, followed by an additional outline in different colours of um, blue fading into greeny yellow to yellowy orange to pink to orangey yellow to back to green to blue. Um, yeah. All, all around the, the shape of this, just to help pick out the colours that are used within the app on the on the codes. Sorry, Andrew. Just thought I'm glad you're here, Jenny. To know. Keeping me on, <laughs> keeping me on my toes. You're keeping me on my toes here, so that's that's good. Um, so, um, what I'm not able to do, guys, and I do apologise through Zoom. I'm not able to have uh, I'm not able to have voice voiceover enabled. Um, I can enable it, but you still won't hear it, unfortunately. But the good news is, is that when we scan uh, barcodes with the app. Uh, you will hear those being read aloud, so that so so that is a good thing. But I will, with Jenny's help, uh, try and kind of visually describe everything that's on the screen. So I have opened the Navi Lens app, and on the screen at the very beginning, it says point at a tag with the camera to read to read it, and then it just says Navi Lens underneath. Now, this is no obviously this is no good to you if you haven't got any labels yet. Okay. So to, rec to actually request labels, there is a menu button, which you'll, you will find with voiceover. If you do your left and right clicks it's to the bottom left hand corner of the screen and on, on my screen, it's, uh, it's blue. It's a blue button. I am using, and I must say, I am using uh, dark mode in iOS, which means some apps will follow that, that high contrast uh, color uh, color scheme which is so this app can look a little bit different um, if you're not using the high contrast color scheme but that's what I'm using um, so there is a, a I call it the burger button Jenny because it looks like a burger in the bottom left hand corner there yeah, yeah, that blue one with the, 
Three, <laughs> three bold white lines, lines on it. <laughs> yeah, anyone doesn't know what a burger button is, basically, visually, it's kind of three lines and uh, they're the, 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 the kind of uh, on top of each other. So you've got your bread at the top, your middle line is your meat and, and the other line is your, uh, your your other piece of bread. And that's why they call it the burger <laughs> button. So, Typical so Galloway's go, food related. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the one. Uh, I'm, so I'm going to go in there. Um, actually, I'd, I'd rather, it, you know, what? we had a poster up and we said it all starts with a brew. I think it should start with a burger. But anyway, there you go. Um, so we've got Second on bit. the screen, we've, we, yeah, we've, <laughs> we've opened the menu button. Um, and we've got uh, we, we, we've got settings uh, and it says application options um, as a kind of subheadings that are within that menu item. And then we've got another item here called request tags. OK, I can move, you know, up the menu uh, or down the menu, if you like. We've also got Navilens friends and family, which I'll come back to in a little bit. We've got history, uh, previously viewed tags. We've got another option that says any problem, any suggestion, we've, uh, and we've all and it says contact us underneath that. And then we've also got enjoying Navi Lens, write a review. We've got a help option, which is a brief guide. We've got terms and conditions, and we've got about. Of course, this is all readable with your screen reader. So if you're on Android, you're using Talkback, or you're on iOS and you use a voiceover, this will all read to you as well. If you use your, you know, your relevant screen, your relevant favorite gestures and your double taps to move around the screen. So, of course, if you live in, if you're lucky enough to live in Spain, or you are going to buy uh, your cocoa pops, oh, you probably heard something then, uh, or you are going to buy cocoa pops from uh, from the supermarket, you may be able to just use this app straight away uh, and, and and see. Um, you know, if, if you can scan uh, that label on the Cocoa Pops, obviously it's a little bit difficult because you've got to find the Cocoa Pops first, um, which is something I haven't tried to do yet. So going forward, if all manufacturers were using these codes, then, you know, you'd be able to get this app out and just scan away. But anyway, I'll go back to the menu button and we can go to request tags. So I'm going to tap on request tags. And then it says, do you want to use... Um, uh, downloading the labels um, implies the acceptance of the terms and con conditions. And there is uh, something that says, uh, I want to receive the NaviLens blank tags. So you tap on that. Uh, yeah, and just, it says, just slow down a minute, Andrew. Yeah. So where it was requesting, do you want the blank tags? That was in a little subtext box just on at its the bottom, own, isn't it? At yeah. the bottom of the thing. So... Um, depending on what colour settings you've got on your screen, you know, look out for a coloured text box on Andrew's monitor at the minute. It's um, a different shade of grey to his black background. Yeah. And because I'm already signed up, well, I'm already signed into the app, um, they've, ju they've just sent me another 500 labels. <laughs> so I didn't have to put my email address in. Um, if you're not signed into the app yet, they'll ask you for your email address essentially okay um so that's that's generally how how that works so i'll just i'll just tap okay on that one um so what i'm gonna do now um is i'm going to one of the ideas i thought of jenny is how once you receive tags you're going to print them off you're going to cut them to size and then you, you need to decide what you're going to do with them yep so one of the first things that i thought of and um, Louise thought I was a little bit mad doing this, was, was putting um, one of these NaviLens tags in, in my front window in the living room so that when I, when I come home, I can use my phone to find a NaviLens tag that will, that will say, Andrew, you are home. And I thought that, that'd be quite a good idea. I suppose, so, you know, like for the likes yeah. of Mosey and her block, if you, know, if you were new to it or things changed, with your vision, that's that's a really good idea to you know help you navigate, especially in some of the. I'm quite fortunate; I've got lamppost outside my house. Um, yeah. But if you've not, yeah, really good idea. Okay, so well, that's what we're going to do now, Jenny. We're actually going to go outside of my house, and I've actually got. Um, let me just let me make sure that we can see my front door here. Can everyone see my front door? We can. 
uh, by my front door. So what I'm going to do is going to go outside. It's flipping freezing as well. <sighs> Can't believe I'm doing this only for the tech talk. Would I actually do this? <laughs> right. Okay. So don't look at me weeds. Right. <laughs> so I've actually or got pumpkins. Um, only pumpkins. That's right. So I've actually got in the window of my house a, a big Navi Lens uh, label. It's like A4. Yeah. Yeah, it's A4 size. People are, people, there's people outside looking at me wondering what I'm doing here. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's so, you. They know you're a bit odd. They know, they know I'm a bit odd. Yeah, they know I'm, I'm a bit tacky and a bit odd. So I've got this label. It's right in the window. And what we need to do is actually configure it first. It's not configured. So what I'm going to do, because uh, I just wanted to show you me actually to prove that I'm outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of share my screen again. So let's just let me share my screen. There we go. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. And uh, hopefully uh, you guys now, if we just go back to the NaviLens app. We started right 24 okay. inches away. So, Rank tab. Use the personal note option to complete it. You should be able to hear that. Now that's because my phone straight away saw the tag. It yeah. recognized it straight away, Jenny. So yeah. I've got my phone horizontal now, so it's not even looking at the uh, the label. I'm going to move my phone uh, up again, so the camera's pointing at the window, and it will it will recognise this as a blank tag. So I'm going to do that again. So I'll raise my phone. 24 inches away, blank tag. Use the personal note option to complete it. Okay. And you'll hear some funny noises coming through there because I'm 25 inches away. Um, I'm going to do a tap on this tag or. If you use a voiceover, you do a double tap, okay? Um, so I'm gonna double I'm gonna double tap or tap once. There we go. And you'll be able to read on the screen that the voiceover will actually say blank tag. Use the personal note option to complete it. Okay. So when you navigate with uh, with voiceover around the screen, um, you will find a button which is called personal annotation which is kind of, it's like that, um, it's in the top right-hand corner of the screen. And it's almost like that, um, the button that you would have on an email with a pen and paper. So, you know, you can use that button. And there's also a pen, a big pen um, icon at the bottom of the screen, just to the right. Um, and it's kind of an orange icon with a white pen in it. Can you see those okay, Jenny? Yeah, it's just... Just that's the one that's slightly off centre to the right because yeah, there's two it. buttons on the right and two on the left. That's the one. That's the one. But I'm I'm going to go for that one in the top right hand corner. So I'm going to tap that with the one with the with the pen and the paper. And now it's saying to me, uh, it says on the screen, guys, it says personal annotation, personal annotations to be added to the tag content. So there's a text box uh, that you can that you can swipe to with voiceover. And it will then bring up the keyboard. And then what you can then do is you can use your voice dictation if you use that through your keyboard, or you can type using voiceover. And I'm just going to type in, I'm going to type in on the keyboard, Andrew, you are home. I'm sure that's home sweet home or something cheesy like that. Um, once we're done with that, we, we, we type that. You can review that with voiceover by tapping on the text box and it will you be able to he hear it say, Andrew, you are home. And then there is a tick box, like a blue tick, to save um, the annotation. It will say save on voiceover and it's in the top right-hand corner of the screen. So I'm going to tap that. And now we've actually saved the, this annotation. So it says, Andrew... Andrew, you are home. Okay. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay. Does that make sense to you, Jenny? <laughs> it does. I'd like to know okay. how far away from it it works. Well, Restarting I love stand. a challenge. I do love a challenge. So let me stop. Let me stop sharing my uh, screen a second and let me come back onto Zoom. So I'm just sharing where I am. Okay. Right. So. I'm, at the moment, I'm probably a couple of feet away, okay? What I'm going to do, I'm going to cross over the road. Don't worry, guys, it's not a busy street, so I'm going to cross over the road. Must look left and right. I've not got my cane with me, but it's, it's a quiet street, so I'll look left and right, let's just cross over. Okay, just to prove that I am doing this. 
Okay. So can you can you what would you say now, Jenny? I'm pretty far away. Yeah, it's a, it is a standard size road um, yeah, with a, enough space away. at the front of the house to put a car yeah. before you've got the standard size width for pavement. So yeah, yeah give yeah. it a go. About, about fifty feet away, you know. About fifty yeah, feet. Yeah. So let let me let let me just share my screen. And I'll start broadcasting again. Okay. And uh, what I'm going to do? Put jumper on now. Oh, it's <laughs> freezing! It's absolutely freezing. Right, I won't point at it at the minute. So at the minute, I've got my camera to the left, so I'm not actually directly pointing at it. And it just says on my screen, there's no camera view or anything like that. It just says uh, point, point, point at tag. It says. Um, so what I'm going to do? I don't know what I've just scanned there. I don't know what that was. So let's just other navy. I know, maybe it's seen something else in the street and wondering what it was. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> right. Okay, so here we go. 55 feet away. Andrew, you are home. I haven't even... I have not moved. Amazing. 54 feet. How 54 amazing feet. is that? 54 feet. And I, what I'll do, guys, I'll start walking across. 51 feet. 43 feet away. So I'm just Andrew, walking you across are home. the road now. 32 feet away. Andrew, you are home. 27 feet. 21 feet. 18 feet. 14 feet. 9 feet. 6 feet. 35 inches. And I'm right by my windowsill. I mean, it's incredible how far away I was there. Yeah, because the you side also of the will have just had it in that general direction as well, won't you? There is no way from that distance, from 55 feet away, you would be able to tell that you had that camera lined up precisely. 11 inches away. No. Andrew, you are home. Not at all. 20 at inches. All. I'm going to go to another mode while I'm on this. I'm just going to turn around the other way. And it's very, this is very hard to um, describe. Well, this is very hard to demonstrate because you do need to wear headphones for this. But there's also what's called a live 360 view. Uh, and this is pretty cool. Um, if you can scan a code from a distance and you need to get to that code and you want more kind of navigational directions, you can use something called uh, 360. So on the screen, uh, in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, there's a button with like um, two arrows going, pointing at each, at each other in a circle and it says 360 above it. If I press that button, you're going to hear some fancy noises in a minute. So get ready for it. Activating 360 vision. I love that noise. I whoosh. It's great that. Right. So what I'm going to do is you should be able to see my camera. Can you see my camera at the moment, yeah. Jenny? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As soon as I find garden? my bins. Yeah. Yeah. Next doors. So, <laughs> so as soon as I as soon as I find the, the code. Okay. Three feet away. Andrew, you are home. Okay. We get this bell noise. And we've got a green arrow pointing at the Navi, the, the, the Navi lens um, code. Now, what I'm going to do is I can hear this noise centrally in my headphones. Okay. If we move away now. One foot to your right, two feet behind. It's behind me at the moment because I've turned the opposite way. And I'm going to walk away from it. Eight feet. So the arrow was 15 turned feet. round, guys. 20 so feet. Done, um, 25 feet. Instead of pointing feet. upwards on the screen, it's now pointing... 35 feet, of his screen, 40 feet, to say, go backwards. 45 feet, 15 feet to your right. Okay, now, as a turn, 15 feet ahead, we've now got some bells telling us that, that code is, is directly in front of us. So what I can do is actually, wait for this car to go past, is I can cross. 45 feet, 12 feet to your left. 35 feet. And it's telling me I need to go feet. left a little bit. 8 feet ahead. 20 feet. 15 feet. 10 feet. 7 feet. Nearby. And we're, we're, back, we're right back at it. And I've not noticed this. This is amazing. So there's like some augmented reality uh, on the screen. It's like reminds me of that yep. Pokemon Go game. And it's put a big Navi lens blob in the center, uh, the eye with the legs. It's put like a big Navi lens blob on my windowsill that's actually um, 
It's not actually there, guys. It's just on my on my on my phone screen. It's like it's like yeah. It looks like a three D image of a green yeah. ball. And and if I move away one from foot it, to your left. it's still there. One foot ahead. Spooky. Nearby. Reminds me of that Pokemon Go game I used to play. I used to go looking for the monsters and things in people's back gardens. <laughs> so so there you one go, nearby. guys. It's really, I mean, one really foot impressive nearby. the way that you can use that as well. One foot ahead. So if you're coming Near, home, nearby. you one could foot, use one that foot to, to, your right. to help, you know, find... Four feet. I'll just let me come off this. Five feet. I'll come back, back onto the normal, back onto the normal screen. So what I'm going to do, guys, it's freezing out here. So I'm going to come, I'm going to come back inside. Let me just go back onto Zoom a second. Right. Oof. Really helpful if Oof. it's dark. Oh, I know. I know. I haven't you know, tried you've got this in the your dark camera yet. facing out. I've not oh. tried this in the dark yet, to be honest with you. Yeah, hi guys, I'm here. <laughs> really is me. <laughs> right. I'm just coming back inside. Give me one second. I'm just gonna go we'll get back at the table and show you um how else this works with products and things like that you can use. Bear me one second. Whew. It's a lot warmer in here. Right. Bear me one second, guys. I'm going to do is flip my camera. Oh, sorry about that. Have you got to look up my nose? I do apologise. Oh, right. Sorry. Right. Let me get my camera back on. This always takes a little bit of jiggery pokery, but uh, we'll sort it out. So, okay. Are we back on there, Jenny? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So the good news is uh, that 3D kind of augmented 360 reality um, is, is, is pretty good. Um, if you use it, because um, it was on Zoom, there was some sounds not coming through, but you do get drums, uh, kind of drum drumming noises in your left or your right ear, depending on which way you need to walk or which way direction you need to go in. So it's like, it reminds me a lot of, like, of soundscape uh, with an audio beacon. So it's essentially your own personal audio beacon, which I think is really, really clever. So, so there you go. Um, so, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reshare my screen again and uh, we'll go back into the app itself. Bear me a second. Oh, I just need to start broadcast. Right, okay, should be now uh, back on the app itself. There we go. Right. Yeah. Okay, so what else is really impressive about this app is that you might not always be the person scanning these labels and giving the, the, the instructions, if you like, or what information you'd like to convey. So what's really clever about this app is that if I go back into that menu button in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, um, I can actually go to, as I scroll down the screen, we came to it before, it says Navi Lens Friends and Family, and it says Share and back up your tags. So you're going to want to do this with a family member or a friend. So what you do is you tap on this option on the screen and it will, I've already pre-registered on the app. So this has got my, uh, my name and my email address. And it tells me that um, I'm sharing two annotations. I've got one follower and I'm also following someone as well. And that's because myself and Louise have both shared our NaviLens tags with each other. Okay, I'll explain why this is why this is beneficial in a minute. But if I scroll down the screen or you use your voiceover gestures, you will come to a button, uh, and it's not showing the whole button at the moment uh, because of my large text size on my phone. But it actually says, um, I think it says to share annotations. So it's a button on the screen, and if I tap that, it brings up a digital NaviLens code, which you would ask your family member to scan with their phone using the NaviLens app on their phone. Once they do that, uh, they can then view any of the tags that you've scanned and named and, and, and annotated. And so you'll want to do that. You'll want to share your code with them and you'd want them to share their code with you as well. Now, the reason is this, and I'll tell you why, if we put this into practice, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna come away from this by pressing the back button, which is in the top left-hand corner of the screen. I'm gonna go back button again, and back into the settings menu. 
Gonna press the back button one more time. Restarting scan. And I'm restarting the scan. Now, why would you want to share your Navi Lens labels? Well, this is the reason why. If you've got a family member or a friend, a partner or a personal assistant, and they go shopping with you, they could have their they could print their own tags. And if you went shopping together or you went somewhere and they are going to stock your freezer or put food in your cupboards, whatever it might be, they can label these tags for you. And not on their phone, but, but using, not on your phone, but using their phone. So that when you pick the item up from the fridge, which is what I'm going to do now. In fact, I'll go to the, I'll go to the 360 view. Activating 360 vision. Because that might be easier to do. I've got here, um, something out the out of the freezer. So I'll bring it up. Eight inches away. www.testo.co.uk Yeah, can you hear them drums? 17 right. inches Absolutely. away. So that, My annotation. That was just to today. show you. www.testo.co.uk Annotation of Louise Coleman. Today. Chicken ticker with pillow rice. Use by the 5th of November 21. Remove cardboard sleeve. Pierce film lid. Microwave 3 minutes then peel film lid and put on again for 3 minutes. Let stand for 2 minutes after microwave finishes. There you go. So that was... I'll just move that away. So that was what... Why is it ticking? The, I th it, it's ticking because... It, I, I, I don't know why it's ticking, actually. I think sometimes that... It, maybe it's because it's the end of the annotation, maybe. Yeah. Maybe something to do with that. But basically, I didn't do any of that. So because Louise scanned it in her Navi Lens app, I've then took it out of the freezer uh, and I scanned it with my phone. And because she shared all of her tags with me, I, I've then got the instructions that she's annotated for that tag. And it's on my microwave meal. Which that's is, you sorting your own dinner out tonight, that's, isn't it? That's me sorting <laughs> my own dinner out. I've got another one and I think I know what it is. It's... Definitely cakes of some sort, so I'll, I'll bring that under my phone. 13 inches away. Annotation of Louise Coleman. Today, mini cupcakes not for Andrew. <laughs> I just like that one. <laughs> she did that one. Mini cupcakes not for Andrew. I thought that was quite good. Uh, what else have we got? Now, I've got another one here, which is almost like a, a, some type of toiletry. So... I'll bring that out. And guys, when I'm doing this, I'm not, I'm, you know, with the QR code, you have to get your phone more or less right onto it. You know, these, you just hold it. 11 the inches done. away. Annotation of Louise Coleman. Today, Sanex shower gel. There you go. Sanex shower gel. She did that one for 16 me. inches away. Here's Annotation one. of Louise Coleman. Today, washing up liquid. There we go. I don't know why 16 we've got the drums inches on the away. Washing up liquid. Annotation of Louise Coleman. Today, one more. washing up liquid. Okay, so we've got one more. Let's do this one. Nine inches away. Annotation of Louise Coleman. Today, baked beans. There you go. So you can put whatever information you want in, you know, into that tag. If I just go back into that 360 mode one more time. Activating we'll 360 back. vision. <clears throat> Noise. It's great. You just literally get your product. Now, I've got it the wrong way around now, so it's not picking up a tag or anything like that. Now, I'm going to turn the product around. Nine inches away. Navi Lens Code. And then so I'll just turned click it. On it. it. Yeah, let me just come back one. So that's how quickly it got it. So I'll do it again out of the 360 mode. I'll come back again. 13 inches go. away. Annotation of Louise Coleman. Today, washing up liquid. So it's that quick. Because imagine if you were in the supermarket and you were you were picking up products and you just you've just got you you've just got you've got your phone. Uh, well, yeah, you've got you got your phone like with you. You pick up a product. You just need to move your phone around the product, and eventually, you'll just pick that code up straight away because they're so sensitive. If I go back into the 360 mode again, activating 360 vision. And it, how far would oh the apple tell us how far away we are? Let's see if we can get it. So you keep coming towards me. That with that one. 
It depends on the size of the actual code as well, doesn't it? It does. It does depend on the size of the code. I think sometimes two feet away. There you go. The lighting. Lens code. There you go. So it's 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 found it, and we've got those drums going on. Yeah, you might be that far away from the shelf, might you guys? Do you know what I mean? That's the other thing as well. Yeah, I know what somebody else that's the equivalent to you standing a trolley width away from a from um, the shelf. Yeah, thirty-four inches away. Oh. Annotation of Louise <laughs> Cole well, today. Really quick, Washing right. up liquid. Right. The other thing that somebody did ask me as well was what happens when you've got more than one code in front of the camera? But that was a very, very good question. So if I put two products down onto the camera... 13 inches away, annotation of Louise Coleman, today, washing up liquid. It will pick one up, and if I move my phone again... 10 inches. Let's see if I can get the other one. That's the washing up liquid one. Nine inches or six inches away. Annotation of Louise Coleman. Today. Sanex shower gel. That's a Sanex shower gel. I'm going to turn my phone deck quick. Eight inches away. That's the other one. Annotation of Louise Coleman. Today. Seven inches away. Annotation of Louise Coleman. Today. Sanex shower gel. Yeah. Seven so inches away. Annotation the, the of Louise camera. Coleman. Seventeen inches away. We'll also Annotation be able of to Louise see. Coleman. Today, uh, washing two, up liquid. Two codes at once. So, if I, get, if I try and do 15 it. 15 inches away. Annotation of Louise Coleman. So Today, washing up liquid. Phone, Seeing two scroll, different you... tabs. There you go. The most centered is 16 out. inches away. There Annotation of Louise Coleman. Today, Sanox shower gel. 15 inches. So, it's actually picked both up there Restarting at, the, scan. at the same time. And it told me which was the closest code as well. Well, which was most of the centre. So I can imagine that if you were in a, an environment where there were lots of these codes, um, it, it, it can pick quite a lot of them up uh, at the same time and, and give you that relative distance of how far away you are from them as well, which I think... Even in your cupboards as well, because if you've got, like, your beans stack, stack next to your peas, stack next to your plum tomatoes. 17 then, inches away. Yeah, Annotation of Louise Coleman. To yeah. Today, washing up liquid. That's it. There we go. Try it is again. It, is it a more... 16 inches away. Annotation of yeah. Louise Coleman. Today, I washing think it up is. liquid. It's a, it's a good point, that. It's a good. It's, it's like a free... It's like the free version of the pen friend from r and IB. Yeah, yeah. Except, you know what I mean? But on your 24 smartphone, inches oh, away. Annotation of Louise Coleman. Right. Today. Mini so, cupcakes not for Andrew. Let me come back one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those, they're just being reminded that those cupcakes aren't for me, um, which is fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Good right. call, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> right. So hopefully you've got, you've got me back. We've got you. So if I just reverse my camera. Let me reverse my camera. Okay, so I mean, I'm very, yeah. I'm very, very new to the app, to be honest with you, and I, and I've just been playing around with it today, and that's kind of how far I got. Let's just position that camera there for us, and um, you know, I I think um, the, the potential of what you can use these these codes for are unreal, you know, uh, and the fact that you can, you know, you can print them off at different sizes. So the biggest at the moment. Mm -hmm. Um, is on that A4 page. I, I'd like to. I'd like to test out whether we could put it on A3 and see if you could scan it from even further away as well. Possibly, you know? but the, yeah. your A your A4 one is the largest one that they showed us on the um, uh, presentation by Xavier. It was and that's yeah. twenty seven meters away. Um, yeah, which is the distance that it can be read at, which is you know. I don't work in I don't work in meters. I work in feet. Um, yeah. but that's that's still a heck of a distance, considering you know, based on we need to keep two meters apart for social distancing, which is about six foot. Yeah, you know that, yeah. that's quite a good distance. I wonder what I wonder what everybody else I wonder what everybody else thinks. What we could actually use use the codes for? It'd be great to get people's ideas as well. And if anybody wants to ask any questions, or so about the codes. And how I use them. I'm going to do a bit more of a deeper dive into the app as well. Again, another another point, guys, and you know, to have another deeper look. At what else you can do? Because there's lots of other things. There's lots of ways of customizing 
your experience using the app. And um, I just think, wow, I just think it's amazing. I mean, when I went outside with it just then and was at literally the other side of the road and it, and it got that tag from that distance, I just thought it was, it was incredible, really, for, for free technology, you know, yeah. a free app, just print the labels and you use your smartphone. Absolutely it's brilliant. It's on Android and Apple. Uh, yeah, as well. So you can get it on yeah. Android and get it on iOS. Should we open the floor and see if anybody's got any questions that they'd, that they'd like to ask? Yeah, let's, let's the open fact the that, floor. You know, you've got a, a, a big shrub or bush at the front of your house as well. And even, you know, as soon as you'd come around that, if you were on the same side of the road, but you knew roughly that you were in the right position for your house, yeah. you know, walking past the bush, the minute it, it gets enough in the camera lens view, it's going to pick it up and, and tell mm -hmm. you that you've got to your destination. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I might, I might even, you know, I think these could be used. Um, I was thinking like even in the workplace or somewhere, if you don't know what certain rooms are and things, you know, you could, th this is something that somebody could use along with a smartphone to, to yeah. identify rooms, to identify parts of the building, things like that easily could be used and shared with other colleagues so that they could up update those. If someone's, you know, if one of the room names changed that tag, as you can see, it can, they can actually be updated. So like, you can go back into one of your previous tags in, your, in, the, in, your history, in the history section of the app and you can change the annotation of, 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 of the tags. Mm, it's, ab it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, Andrew, brilliant. I thought it's Tracy. I thought that was a brilliant demonstration, particularly how far when you were across the road, it'll pick up the, yeah, the code yeah. as well. And I think, you know, like you said earlier, I think it might have been Jenny, you know, the, it, the capabilities of it, particularly in the workplace, is just endless. Yeah. 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 It's whatever you want I, it to be. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I, I'm so impressed with it. Can I just ask something? I missed the bit. Do you have to actually stick something onto the product? Yeah, so what we've done there, Mosey, is um, you request some three labels from Navigants yeah. through, the, through the app, uh, yeah. and they send you, I think, is it 500? They're yeah. about, I've got yeah. 500 labels, and yeah. they send you them of all different shapes, uh, all different sizes, yeah. on, and they're all to print out on your own printer at home on A4. Yeah. Uh, and then, so you can get, like, one big, massive... Um, Navi Lens label, yeah. which is a whole, which is the size of like it fills the A4 page. And that's yeah, the one that I was one using in, in my window. window. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But but do you have so the others? You just cut them out and stick them on the the, the products you put yeah. in the freezer. Yeah. You actually yeah. stick the label on, then name it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just stick like, them on yeah, whatever you like want. The pen friend, yeah, yeah. It's just like the pen friend, yeah, yeah. but yeah, I actually think it's more powerful because. You know, with the pen friend, um, you would need it. your personal assistant would need to have your pen friend. So mm. if they were if they were helping you with shopping or anything, or helping you with things, they would need your pen friend. Actually, yeah. Louise could go shopping, uh, which she does anyway, because I hardly ever go shopping. Louise, Louise goes does the shopping, um, and um, she could she could come home one night and you know stick do a few of these tags put them on the, the different meals and things, set the tags up on her phone. And because we're, 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 we're connected together, when I scan those tags, it's like magic. It's all the information's there for me straight away. Yeah, that was what was so impressive, the information. Yeah. You know, on, on yeah. the product. But had Louise yeah, so, to dictate so, that? Yeah, the, well, yeah, that's it. So these labels are what you want them to be. So you actually, you input the text. Um, so Louise yeah. had actually yeah. typed out the, the relevant cooking instructions and right. the sell-by date and stuff that yeah. she wanted to, that, that, that she knew that I needed to know. And she yeah. just typed yeah. all that in. Yeah. 